Uh, Hello let, everyone, let this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 34 of Direwolf20's Let's Play. Hanging out with Lex Manos and Tog and uh, Covert Jaguar and Azanor and Soren and all these other cool people. What's up everybody? Hello. And I, I just know, cut I off Tog and it. Lex Manos in the middle of their conversation, so I'm going to let them go back to talking about Minecrafty Cody stuff now. Yeah, but uh, let, me, let me know when you do and I can help you out with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just happy that I got what I have finished. You yeah, see my quarry yeah, still running. It's, it's no big deal, but people would probably probably like it. What's that, Tog? Uh, fixing some lighting issues with partial blocks, you know, like lighting going past the half slab and stuff like that. Oh, right, right. Same thing with uh, Red Power 2 covers? Uh, or different? That's a different issue, but this would allow... These fixes should allow Ella to um, fix her covers to not uh, let light pass through them, which is cool. pretty difficult to do right now. Right. Awesome. Hey, Azanor, are you still around? Yeah. Do I want to go visit your second. age on camera. Sh sure. Where's your book? Oh, it's in the overworld, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but I'd rather go to the Nexus and go to the Azinor's pad. Okay. My other age, I abandoned. Oh, yeah. yeah? It got corrupted or something. I love jumping down that little portal through the floor in the, uh... Oh, there's Azinor's pad. What's up? I did that once, and I died on the other end, so I haven't done it again. <laughs> well, I do have quantum legs on, too, so that helps. Whoa, this place is cool. Um, where is, where is it? Is it inside the, the building? Pretty cool, as. Oh, wow, look at that. Nice big wind farm. A double-decker reed farm. Nice. I, I don't know if you're following me, Covert, but I don't... Yeah, I totally lost. Here, so. um, oh, is this what you were talking about, Azanor? Your uh, milk-based uh, biofuel? Here, where, where's yes, your Yes, for biogas engines, yes. Now, well, does that need a steady work. supply of lava? Um, not if they're always on, I guess. Well, I know water does, I think. Like, you can power biogas engines with water, but you need a steady supply of, of, water, of uh, lava. Uh, I think it's only water. Yeah, I wasn't sure about milk. I've never used milk. Cool. I'm liking it. Oh yeah, look at that. You got milk hanging out in here. That's awesome. <laughs> now to see if I can pump it up. Milk in what now? In his uh, tank. Who's that? Was that Matabase? He the was. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How much? Just gonna go online. That's really I'm recording, good by the way, Matabase. Oh, okay. Is that good timing, uh, Slipok? Really, really good timing. Yeah, all these pipes, I think... Yeah. Oh, they're not supposed to connect, I guess, are they? I don't think they will do anything. Um, the ones that are connected to the item ones. Yeah, that, they look like they connect, but they probably don't. changed it so you can't pump items in. I'm not sure what the update is on that was. If it's addressed in the code I have or not. Oh, so that... So that uh, um, item pipes don't connect to tanks. Yeah, I'm having issues trying to get them not to connect, but I think that's a buildcraft issue rather than. Oh, you're going the filter method of routing items around. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, how are you finished the stuff out of the mount tank? 
That's an alternate way to route items, by the way, guys, in uh, Red Power 2. Using filters? Oh, yeah. Down there. Yeah. No, no liquids down there. How is he routing his milk? Oh, I see. Just with buckets. Hacks. Hacks. <laughs> there, there's no. Light. Asnor, I need to introduce you to iron chests. What is he using? Wooden chests. Oh wow! I've got yeah. some iron chests. That was, those are supposed to be temporary, but um, <laughs> they've been temporary for almost a week now. Nice. <laughs> oh wow, that's a big empty quarry. What did you quarry this out? I guess. Where's that? Where Where are you at now? I'm looking around underneath his house. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. To oh, I see what you did. You just put a quarry underground so that it would mine below. Okay. Yep. Not to leave big holes. Dude, you know what this chest is missing? This one right here. No. The chest over here is missing something. Portable hole? It's missing some some Thomcraft artifacts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is not it. Are you back already, Slowpoke? Now that I think about it. Oh, back from where? I assumed you went to sleep. Nope. Alright, guys, I'll uh, be back in a few minutes here. An item in I'm back to recording, by the way. Called uh, the Retrievalizer. Yeah. And it, it allows you to interact with every one of those infinite pages using the Retrievalizer. In an oh, that's fashion. Cool. Yeah, guys, we're oh, talking yeah, about the uh, black hole chest from the uh, Amibus's mods. He's got some cool mods. It's tube stuff, right? Or yeah, something. Yeah, well, it's Amibus's mod. Yeah, tube stuff is the one that adds it. It's it's seriously OP though. But it's disabled by default, so yeah. And well, so is the duplicator, right? Although that's not the uh, duplicator has a recipe. It's designed yeah. for map makers. It's all yeah. it's OP only. Yeah, it's it's not. Which I think I actually have some. I I, I may have some things I be, will use that for an FTB, but. Oh yeah, we can definitely use it for like you know extra life chests and. Uh, yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. extra life chests like really simple. Yeah, it does. <coughs> I end up dying. <clears throat> oh, this is a pretty sheet. Oh, this is Trello. That's why. Oh yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, Flair was telling me, as an or you were using all kinds of cool stuff um, for plant balls for your IC2 power. Yeah, I had an old school, um, what do you call it, creating fuel cans for the generators, but um, ended up using way too much tin. Yeah. I can't log in now. I got a question Broken. for Soren. How do you turn on the GPS? Uh, F7, F7 or F8. F8. It's in your key configuration if you want to change it. F7 works. Yeah. It, it's not called the GPS mod anymore, by the way. Oh, what's it called? It's the stalker it's, mod. It's called the stalker mod. I've, oh, yeah, I've renamed it. Stalker. I, I, I would have to agree with you there. I've renamed it the stalker mod. That's what I'm going to call it if I ever do a mod spotlight on it. Yeah, well, yeah, yes. It has no other purpose <laughs> but to stalk somebody. I know. It's freaky because he stalks. Oh, wow. That is creepy. Because he essentially went around and threw trackers on everyone who was on yesterday. It's like, what are you doing? Hey, I see where Matabase is. He's an age 33 <laughs> named Paradise. Wow. I'm coming to uh, find him. He is ridiculously <laughs> creepy. I'm not going to lie. Where's your book? Uh, oh, never mind. Take I'm, in, I'm in Covert's world. <laughs> yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, yes, yeah, we all know where you are. <laughs> yeah, talk about extremely OP mods. Dire. Okay. I gotta find my buddy hits F8. Oh, oh, yeah. my, oh gosh. my gosh. Oh, it measures meters. What in the yeah. world? Yeah, it does. How's it going? Oh, I'm scared. I'm wow. coming for you. You guys are measures 70 meters away. At least it doesn't tell oh. the direction. It yeah, but that's that easy to find. Better. You just run in a direction until you yeah, find yeah. where you want to go. That's true. I have wow, a gravity is, suit. That's slightly terrifying. I'm getting like one FPS right now. Something's wrong, but I can't really do anything. But yeah, I see you stop. Hey, man. That's really creepy. What's up, buddy? Wow. Yeah, it's called the stalker mod, and it allows us to stalk you. 
get to sneak around too. Wow. Now that would be the thing is if it allowed if you snuck if you disappeared off of it. Oh my That's an idea. Well, Dino yeah. was saying you need to craft an item like something and then you come a off GPS the uh, radar. Yeah. Yeah. It would just be cool if you could sneak, because then you could really stalk people, because no one would know where you're at. You'd just be following people. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. You ready? I got it. I totally got it. You ready? The tinfoil hat. I have a hat. Hey, I have a In my mind, I have a that, that sounds awesome, dude. That's what we need to do. We need to tell Richard Actually, G to make a tinfoil yeah. hat. That needs to be made now, because like, I want oh, Right it. away. I, I, want, I don't even care if it's a GPS mod. This can be its own mod, the tinfoil hat. Yeah. No, I can add it to... Uh, I just need to figure out how he uh, gets the players. If I can do that, I can essentially make the aluminum make a hat. Because I do not like this mod. I, I honestly don't. <laughs> oh, I totally I want a tinfoil hat. Like, I'll give up a solar helmet, I'll give up a quantum helmet, I'll wear a tinfoil hat. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll try to texture one for you. Woot. I think, I think the stalker mod has its purpose if it wasn't so stalkery. Yeah. I would be okay if it was like a team co-op kind of thing, but this... Is we're like we're spread out across a lot of different worlds for a reason. Yeah, and it like it straight up tells you that he's in this age. This is the exact name, and then when you get there, he is. You are this far away from him. Exactly. At least it says the age number. No, it does not. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah the age does. number next to it. Okay. I can't figure out what that was in the video. Yeah, but stalker mod is awesome. I like it. Don't, don't go wrong, Mr. G. Nice job. But yeah. totally name the stalker mod for a reason. My shirt came back on. Come back. Is Flora still around or is she like hiding? Probably both. Nobody can hide on Pycraft. <laughs> she's not on, yeah. so. Well, she's not logged <laughs> in, but she might still be in TeamSpeak. I don't, I don't see her. So I got my quarry running again. Now what? Good question. Don't you love it when a client says, received a talent today data packet for a location that did not have a title at the team? Hey player, yeah, how much uh, how much mass do yeah, I need to give you for a uh, high voltage solar array? At least two diamond chests worth, is what I told me yesterday. Of oh. you matter? No, like there was a better price, like a more realistic price. Twenty five per solar, so twenty five UU matter equals a high voltage solar. No, unfortunately, I tried that yet. What? That, that would be so cheap for high voltage solar panels. Tell me about it. That's what he just typed to me on the server. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Thorne, can I have some EV powder? <laughs> no, I'm... Hey, let's face it. If it's 25, I'd buy all the solar arrays, then generate the EU, and then give you all EU matter. Well, think about it. You buy one from him, and then you hook that up to your mass fab, and 10 minutes later, you go back and buy another one from him. I have you that several one chests full. You remember that, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. I mean, 1,280 EU matter per... Yeah. High voltage solar. It's one no. twenty five for solar. No, it's twelve thousand eight hundred. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, twenty <laughs> yeah, twenty five per solar, not per HV array. Uh, oh, twenty five per solar. Okay. Yeah. So I need a lot more than that. Two hundred stacks. Is that all? <laughs> it's almost two uh diamond chests. No. So out of so, curiosity, player, like, how long does it take you to generate the UU matter to create? Yeah, I want to go check out your UU matter gen. Where are you at? Player versus server, where it is. Probably not very long. I mean, on my on my test server, when I had two HV solar arrays going into my mass fab constantly with no scrap, well, there's scrap sometimes. 30 um, seconds about. It doesn't take very long to get a PC um, UU. This is about a second or two, a second to three seconds from that range, and then he has to scrap every once in a while. Yeah, my scrap kind of came in, you know, willy nilly. It wasn't a big deal. Like once you get, when you've got a thousand twenty-four EU a tick going into your uh, mass yeah. fab, scrap is really inconsequent. Yeah, English I see like a right? massive recycler array. That's pretty cool. With yeah, eight overclocker upgrades each. Nice. Yeah. So, so that sounds like about an H3 solar array every three and a half hours or so. Yeah, but that's, Maybe like, three that's, and a half, that's only four the hours. first time, and then that gets exponentially shorter, that time. Well, well that's that's given a second per UU. Yeah, yeah, but the second per UU turns into, you know, three-fourths of a second once you make one HP solar array, then tack that on, and the next one, then you've got a half a second. 
I mean, it's exponential growth once you've produced one HP solar panel. Yeah, well, the machine can only run so fast, right? Four HP solar right. panels. Oh, Six can take um, up to two UU. He's I, got like, um, how many HP solar panels UU. on top of one? Three? No, it can take one, way two, more three, than that, four, I think, five, actually. Because if you feed it He's got 21. It'll output one UU matter a tick. You would have wow. to feed it what, a million That's... UU a tick, though. So, yeah, you can feed it. No, so like, he's literally right now got 21 HV solar arrays connected to one mass fab, and it's producing 10,752 EU per tick. See? Like I said, um, that's exponential, and eventually you'll just get to a point where you're just like, oh, you need HV done. You need HV done. So where's the, ma where's the uh, HV solar factory player? Through the other side of that ender chest, I presume? And since it's all done with UU matter, I mean, it's 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 completely self-sustaining. Yeah. Okay. So it so at UU per tick, that's eleven minutes. At a UU per tick, it's eleven minutes to get a solar a HP solar array. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, one uh, UU per tick is like obviously kind of silly. Yeah, but imagine one UU per tick, right? That takes you, how long would it take you to get that many HP solar panels from that again to then double, and you'd have two UU a tick by just doubling your setup? Well, you'd, you'd have to use multiple... Mass fabs. Mass fabs at that point, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you, just, you then double your setup. You get another mass fab set up identically, because by that time you're producing, since his HP solar rays only use UU matter to get created, it's only a matter of time, and being as he Yeah. Does, All the time in the world. Yeah, he's literally invented the perfect solar farm because it's self-sustaining. It's free. It's literally costing him nothing. He has to put nothing in, and he gets stuff out of it. Yeah. Hacks. Hacks. That's what we call hacks. Yeah, that's like the definition of hacks. You just get for free. Stuff for free. Oh, man. Stuff for free. Pretty awesome here, player. So you can't yeah, them. I just wish some more things were you you a ball like RP stuff. Oh come on, then you're just getting really OP. Why not? That would be easy to do. It, What's like you like no, no, you no. for nickelite and silver, you know? Yeah, but come and on, you could would, do. Yeah, yeah do you really need you really for nickelite though? though? Yeah, oh. nickel well, that's yeah those are already too much nickelite, not enough for power stuff. So. It's already bad enough you can get all this stuff from vanilla with UU. I mean, he literally can get everything he needs without EE with just UU to make HP solar arrays. Yep. I think you can get enough matter from UU. Yep. Oh, easily. I said on my old servers, we uh, had hundreds of geothermal generators pumping into a single mass fab. Yeah, but that's just dumb. We made everything we needed. Mind you, this was back in like 1.0 and such. Yeah, which is I... before things probably got nerfed. Probably uh, also before HV solar panels. Well, before, yeah. Geothermal gens yeah. are making 20 EU a tick right then. Right, because, oh, like, imagine sorry. doing this with, like, not the compact solars mod. Uh, yeah. Your energy net would be huge. Right, to the point where the you'd server have, would cry. It would cry yeah, you'd tears have 10K of 10k solar evilness. panels right now if you were a player. Right, like 10,000 solar panels. I don't think, you know. <laughs> I don't think the server would appreciate that very Actually, much. that wouldn't even be equivalent because of energy loss because you'd have to be so many blocks away. Um, yeah, literally, you wouldn't. it wouldn't ever be... I don't even think it'd be possible because at some point you wouldn't get any energy from solar panels. Low voltage uh, converters. Those things you can repeat forever. Oh, if yeah, step, step, up step up and step down and you lose no power. So, so you go like 39 blocks and you step and step down and then go another 39 blocks. Yeah, you do, you do what we do in, in the real world. We step, we have transformer stations. You would literally need transformer stations to do what he does. And that's that's what pretty we cool, player. Server. <laughs> yeah, but no, we use transformer stations. It doesn't work quite like that in the real world. No, it... it, it you use transformer it's, stations to, to increase the voltage and then... Carry it along the line at a higher voltage. Correct. It's very similar. But for long, for long distances. But, well, yeah, yeah, but here you just use a transformer and then it would reset the uh, um, reset the line length. So you know you just stick it in. 
it's basically like a repeater for other signals, you know. That's true, yeah, because you don't need to step it up here, you just need to... It, it'd be more like a, you know, a, a data repeater. Yeah, well, it would I gotta go. if you really want to... So what's all this stuff do, player? Just organize repeater. the number of items going in? That's cool. Now, I'm not in game, so if someone can give me an answer when he says that, player... Dude, look or, at this. This is like the most complex factory ever. Just give me logistics pipes. <laughs> <laughs> How much cooler would your factory be, player, if you had, if you had uh, auto crafting tables that worked with red-powered filters? How I think we can only choose uh, one thing to bug craft about, either gates or wide pipes. Uh, I don't logistics know which pipes. one you're going to choose. <laughs> uh, gates. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and well, then see, I'm going to bug Azenor, no. like, item number one, portable hole, please. I mean, like, I I l d don't, don't get me wrong. I, I want logistics pipes. Yeah, but, but they are a little bit too powerful they are in just, cases. Well, no, they are just slightly that awesome, low player. priority than crashing every time you click on something you know well, you know i kind of right. kind of want that to be fixed first <laughs> like fix bugs and add new features that's yeah that's how like no programming coming in the world does it <laughs> just throw that out there i sleep with a pillow of notch does matter that... base did you see my uh cool little mist crap portal thing that is in no way near as cool as the hv solar array factory I didn't, and as soon as I get my client to stop lagging, I will come see it. And then after you know, that, my client was lagging house. too. I thought that was just me. My, my client was well. lagging really badly, and I'm not sure why. And I've got like me of. My client was being a little laggy too, just a little bit, not terribly. I don't know where you are, Matt. I'm not on. I <laughs> know. I'm about to take up coding and make a tinfoil hat. <laughs> don't worry, I'll try to figure out how he checks it so I can say it. No. I feel a little creeped on. Yeah, hey, seriously, tinfoil hat. This should be hat. reason to add Zycraft. <laughs> what you should do is you should figure it out and you should like fix it and then add it. I assume we'll be testing oh, yeah, the right. multiplayer version of Zycraft on the server when it's ready, right? Oh, yeah. Of course we will. All right. And uh, Thalmcraft. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Well, you are yep. really petitioning <laughs> for that one, aren't you? <laughs> I'm just making Man. sure that Azanor knows he has a dedicated team of testers. <laughs> I think We are looking to help him. He's got a dedicated team of dire wolves. <laughs> Just making sure he knows, like, we're here In for him. In dire need of the mod. Ah, she's uh, there. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I drained my boots. All right, guys, I'm going to go uh, recharge my boots and then think about what I want to start playing with next. Metabase wow. is dying left and right. I like need to re rename it Creeper Paradise. Yeah, the Paradise has a lot of creepers. Wow, still, like, one FPS. What is going on? That's a good question. I was having a little bit of frame rate problems. And Flora's still not back, or is she back? Main frame rate problems. What is this? Oh, um, yeah. I'm just not even gonna, yeah. What's up? I have, I, have, I may have had my, my other Minecraft instance open. Actively. You might have had that going on. Yeah. Like, actively. I, I had three instances of Minecraft open. At the same time? Yeah. I can't imagine why that would be a problem. <laughs> I went to go check my RAM usage, and I'm like, wow, that's weird. I've got got 15 gigs of 16 used. That's, that's odd. Oh, Minecraft. Oh, lots of Minecrafts. <laughs> yeah. How much RAM do you allocate to Minecraft, by the way? Yo, uh, dog. Two like, gigs to each one. Okay, because according to your math, like a second ago, that was like more than two gigs. <laughs> yeah, well, I had I had fourteen gigs, fourteen gigs total used. I had some other stuff running. I have some other stuff running in the background. You're encoding videos and like you know, splitting atoms. I am encoding. Search video, for yeah. search for extraterrestrial intelligence. SETI at home is running. <laughs> <laughs> SETI is awesome. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Blew up my linking book. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I did actually, yeah. I was I was about an inch from it when I logged out because of bad frame rate issues. When I logged back in, I was I was I was just loaded. Oh. 
I go with stone. I forget how many of these things Flora said I needed, the scented paneling stuff. But I think I'm getting pretty darn close to how much she said I needed to have. Yay, I can move again. Let's find out where everyone <laughs> is. It's not like I don't record everything I do, so like I could go watch the video and be like, oh yeah, that's what Flora said, because it's on camera. But... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, F8 was a bad key, because that is the smooth movement key. Yeah, he knows. He fixed it. Yeah, it's F7, I think, now-ish. Oh, I genned it before that, that's why. What did you do? I swear to God, I'm if I turn around. and you're standing right no. by me. With TNT in ah. your hand. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Actually, this is this would be really useful if it told you where you were at. Can someone tell me where I'm at? You're at Paradise. Thank you. How do I get out of Paradise? <laughs> without a leak? I literally, she said Paradise. Hold on, I'll come to you. Yeah, yeah what, what there, kind of a GPS mod is it if up it up doesn't on, yeah. tell you where you are? <laughs> Yeah, this is not a very accurate, GPS, but a useful GPS one. It doesn't tell you where you're at. No, it's the stalker you, mod, duh. Uh, stalker mod, yeah, totally. It needs to do exactly the opposite to be a GPS mod. Where? Oh, whoa. Are you moving, man? Yeah. Stop moving. But, uh... Hey. Yeah, I have other kind of sort of Minecraft-related stuff was that? to do. Oh, hey, you attacked me. <laughs> You're recording, right? Wait, you guys are yeah, really far away. Where the world did you go? I don't know where he's going, but I'm trying to lead him back. Yeah, I'm recording, Todd. Go ahead right. say where you are so we can use the stalker mod to get back. <laughs> I know where to go, right. though. I mean, it's just a diagonal. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to log off the server. I have Ooh, something else I want to do. Cool, man. We'll catch you later. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty I'll close to wrapping on, up this episode anyway. So I'll still be on Teams Week. That's cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode pretty soon, actually. I want to finish up with these casing thingies, and then hopefully next episode I can get to checking out this Alvary no. that Flora's telling me is awesome. I can't actually get up there, so thanks for that, Soren. I'm trying to figure out how, where the book is. I had to like parkour that just now. Thank you. Well, that's not the right place, anyways. <laughs> well, the book, the book blew up. The book blew up. That was my alternate book, oh. the one that oh, links that... to the workshop. The main book's up on the hill above my uh, half-finished house. Oh, the hill! Awesome. Actually, hey, Sora, come here. Completely the opposite it. direction. Yeah, up oh. there. Can um, you toss me your chest plate, and I'll toss it down to you after I get to the top of the hill. Or you can do the same. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I oh, think my you, thing's jammed up. How many uh, panels do you have so far? Thank you. Put the boat back. Good try. Just put it back. Not so sneaky, huh? Um, because I can't remember the Ow. recipe exactly, but I think you need two sixteen. Where'd the Get book back. go? Panels. Get back. <laughs> I didn't take it. No, not the part of my armor. This filter oh, should not be jammed. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. Oh, hey. oh hey, go over it. Use your arrows. Up. I'm never gonna catch me now. to do a sandstone? Does that I don't need to pop my laser now, do I? Oh my gosh. I was gonna <laughs> give it to you, but that's fine. You can just pop maul me to death. Thank you. I didn't hit you, did it? <laughs> yeah, sandstone should've gone that route. Jerk! Please don't kill me. I have no armor or resources. <laughs> my I keep, keep, the I keep dying due to I bombs. I got a <laughs> I do too. <laughs> oh wow. There's hey, a lot I'm of backup stuff. warehouse I'm making now. I've given up on trying to get resources in this version. <laughs> Let's wait for 1-3. Okay, I'm that's still cool. only getting... Well, like, this is Dyer's age. We don't know what goes on here. Still only getting like... Oh, I can tell you right minutes. now, like, weird things are going on. Yeah, this place is odd. My world hasn't had much lag, but there's not much on it anyways, so... I think that's probably the reason it's a lag. Once I start building it, that will be a different story. Optifine doesn't come in this instance, does it? 
Uh, so, I have it, but I don't think I, it's in the thing. Excuse me while I go get my FPS back. Okay. The, the HD patching for Water and Forge, Lex, and Lava kills FPS. Yes, it does. <laughs> you feel so proud of it, too. It looks, notch. It looks gorgeous, notch, but man, does it kill FPS. It's not just Halt. Oh, okay. We, we don't do anything special. We simply fix a bug in Notch's code. But that's what it would do if just code was working properly. Yes. Oh, the thing that Notch supposed to do then breaks my breaks my computer heavily. I might be overloading my recyclers too much. Nah. Yeah, I think that's probably what's causing my issue right now. What issue are you having? I'm overloading my recyclers. Right, okay, well. <laughs> I think I think it's like filling up all the recyclers and then making its way back to the sorter and then not coming back out of the sorter. And why is why am I getting peat? Why are my peat farms running? Is you not trying to on? Oh goodness! Oh wow! I think I know what happened. Ha! That is awesome. The sand made its way all the way back to the peat when my recyclers filled. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Awesomeness. Because everything's connected here. That's funny. I'm like, why is my peat farm running? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess it does now. <laughs> Do you don't have like a manual off switch for the farm? Uh, do I have a manual off switch for the phone? Oh, is that what's happening? Is that getting stuck there? I don't huh, know where that's happening. You're two meters away. I'm not even in game yet. I'm still logging in. I need to fix my I computer. think I'm going to turn the cart off of wait until full mode, because I think it's putting too many items into my sorting system at once. So if I take it <laughs> off of wait mode, it'll, like, you know, dump off items more often. And then not dump off as many items at once. Where are you going? Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's something I wish someone would change. I don't really care who, but some way to like not actually put you in the world until your client has loaded said world. They don't fall forever. Well, so you don't think it's like, oh, so and so joined the game. I'm. I see them, and we're like. Loading, loading, loading. Five minutes later, still loading. <laughs> Those pipes there for fun? Nah, I had 21 chests all over here, but I've moved them to various places. Oh, uh, oh, that's a hole. <laughs> Good news, I think you were there talking with the Railcraft guy. Yeah, I put some in player. I just moved them from you, my macerators to my recyclers. You, you think I was what? I think you were there when Sparkster came by, but the Railcraft guy, Timmy, the guy who does Railcraft textures, is back. Yeah, I heard. So we should see tank textures here pretty soon, because right now these are rails, by the way, Soren. They look like rails for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they look kind of different. And what's funny is I can see the... Um, the iron tank walls filling with oil and filling with liquids because I know that they do that, but the textures normally cover it. And because these are see-through rails, I can see these full of liquid. Yep, Chris, so oil is fun. Oh wow, that's never cool. used it. But, well, I have used it once, but I'll have more tanks for all the different liquids later. Biomass, milk, maybe. Depending on if I can do anything with that. This shows how used to flying I am. I tried to double tap to see what was on top of these tanks. I'm going to put a transposer there so it's one way. I was actually trying to fly and see the dimensions of them, actually. Uh, it's a... Four. Yeah, I see it now. I didn't know you could make them that wide. Seems like it. I think, uh, Cobra has one far too. Yeah, I have a 7x7x4 seven by seven by in my world. Oh, I didn't know I you have... lay down like that that wide, like, I'm going to be tall. I have the relay, two relays there, so it doesn't get backed up. User disconnected from but your channel. the uh, relay goes into a hopper, which puts into Coke oven nicely. 
Nice. Wait, you can hop things in from the bottom? No, it's hopping into the coke oven, which is under this, and then it pumps it back in. Oh, okay. To the coke oven. I'm gonna have more coke oven later. I have a lot of coal. Cough, cough. <laughs> cough. <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? It looks funny. This is my UU gen. Are these HPs? Yeah. Yep. Where's all the UU going? They go into this pipe, and there's two places it goes before it hits these normal generic chests. One is over to where I'm going to have a solar factory, and the other is to the coal cover, so I can make coal. Alright guys, this should pretty much fix my sorting system, but I'm going to keep an eye on it for a little bit. Even it's going like, to go away soon. So this is Direwolf20 signing off on episode 34 of Direwolf20's <laughs> multiplayer server series play. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and take it easy.